Hello, Pre-K. Good morning. Today, I want to tell you a story, a very, very, very famous story about someone that's very, very important to the Jewish people. How am I going to get to this story? I got to the story because of Shavuot. My Shavuot pictures are behind me. Shavuot is starting tomorrow night. And there are lots of different things connected to Shavuot. We spoke about a lot of them. One thing that we didn't talk about yet is a person called David HaMelech. We spoke about David HaMelech different times in pre-K, but very, very quickly. You may have remembered the name, maybe you don't. Either way, that's fine. I'm gonna tell you a really, really, really special story about him. Now, David HaMelech, who was he? David HaMelech was born to a family of a lot of brothers. He was the youngest and he had a lot of older brothers. And he was a really special and humble person. Okay, we've been talking a lot about being humble. He was a humble person and he was a very simple person and his family really didn't think that he was so important. They would always tell him, David, you go take care of the sheep. That's what you're good for. Just go take care of the sheep. While the other brothers were strong and they would fight in the army and they were warriors. David and Melech was simple. David, you just go take care of the sheep. Don't come in our way. That's how his family was. You go do your thing. We're going to do our thing. The brothers were very important. David and Melech was not so important. David HaMelech was born on Shavuot. That's why we're talking about him. Shavuot is coming up tomorrow night. David HaMelech was born on Shavuot. So we talk about David HaMelech on Shavuot. We want to think about him. Now, David HaMelech went on to become the king of the Jewish people. That's why we call him HaMelech, David HaMelech. Melech means king. He was the king of the Jewish people a long time ago, and he was one of the best kings the Jewish people ever had. Hashem would protect him, and every war that he would fight, Hashem would make him win, Hashem made him strong, Hashem kept him and the Jewish people safe, and he was a really smart and special king, and he cared so much about the Jewish people. Now, the story I'm going to tell you is a story about David HaMelech before he became king, okay? This is whenever David HaMelech was just a regular person taking care of the sheep. Now, there was a time where the Jews had a problem, okay? There was a time where there used to be giants in the land, okay? What's a giant? A giant is someone really, 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 really big. We don't really have giants nowadays, but a long, 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 long time ago, there were giants. Not anymore, but a long time ago. Okay, here is our giant. We're gonna call this giant Goliath. Can you say that? Goliath. Okay, this is a giant. He's really, really, really tall and big. And this is gonna be our David HaMelech. Obviously, this is not David HaMelech. We don't know what he looked like. I'm just using a little toy that I have at home to make it a little bit more fun. Well, look how much bigger Goliath is than David HaMelech. I'm gonna put them both on the table. You can't even see Goliath's head. You can see. Oh, there he is. Goliath was really, really, really big. And David was a regular sized person like you and me. Now, what was the problem? At the time, David HaMelech was not king. The king of the Jewish people's name was Shaul. Okay? Shaul had a problem. Goliath would come out every single day. Thump, 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 thump. And he would look at the Jewish people. And he would say, hey, Jewish people, you guys are bad. You guys are not good. You guys are not strong. Your Hashem is silly. Your Hashem is nothing. <laughs> and he would tease the Jewish people. 
and he would say bad things about the Jewish people and he would say, try to fight me. I'm the strongest in the world. You can't fight me. I'm going to always win. Who's going to come and fight me? Who's going to come and fight me? And every day he would come out and he would say mean things about Hashem and mean things about the Jewish people. And the Jewish nation with King Shaul decided we have to fight Goliath. He's being mean. He's being rude. He's hurting us. We have to get rid of him. So every day they would send soldiers to try to fight with Goliath. And guess what? Goliath was too big for them. Nobody was able to fight him. David was not a soldier. So he wasn't there with his brothers. His brothers were soldiers, but he was not fighting Goliath. He was taking care of the sheep on the side. And one day, David's father said, David, can you go? Your brothers are fighting so hard as soldiers. Can you go and give them this package? I have to give them something. So David was a good listener. He honored his father and mother. We spoke about this. And he listened to his dad and he took the package to his brothers. And while he was there, Goliath comes out again. I told you, every single day he would come out. And he would say, mo ho ha ha You stinky Jews. You can't fight me. You guys are bad. Your Hashem is bad. I'm the strongest and I will always win. And he, David saw that whatever the soldiers would do, they would throw things at him and fight with him. And they would try to trick him and do all these different things. They couldn't beat him. And it made David super angry. How can you let someone say such not nice things about Hashem? How can you let someone be so mean to the Jewish people? And David got so angry. He did not like Goliath. And he was telling them, why can't you get rid of him? And they were saying, we can't. He's so big. Look, look at him. Look at the size. We can't fight him. Every time we try to fight him, we don't go anywhere near him. What are we supposed to do? And David said, I'm going to try. You know what? David said, Hashem is on my team. Hashem's going to protect me. I'm going to fight with Goliath because I care about Hashem. I don't like that Goliath is saying not nice things about Hashem. It's making me angry. I love Hashem. And you know what David did? He went up in front of all the soldiers. He went to the front of the line. He took a slingshot. Okay? I don't have a slingshot to show you. But a slingshot is basically two sticks. Oh, kind of like this. But let's pretend that David had the slingshot. And there's a rubber band around the top. And you pull it. And when you, you put some like a rock or something in the string. And when you let go, it flies really, really far. Okay, that's a slingshot. David took a slingshot. He put a really big rock in the slingshot. Okay, look how big Goliath is. Look at David. Look at where they are. Do you think David can kill him? He doesn't have superhero powers that he can jump in the sky and say, hi like the superheroes that we watch. That didn't happen. What happened? David was on the ground. Goliath was on the ground. And Goliath was teasing David. Come and get me. You can't beat me. I'm so much bigger than you. I'm so much stronger than you. Your Hashem is silly. I don't care about you. Jews are bad. And David got so angry. He took his slingshot and he shot a rock and it went straight. Let's pretend this is a rock. Boom! Into Goliath's head. One time, one slingshot from David, who was not a soldier. But he had Hashem on his team. And guess what happened to Goliath, the giant who the entire Jewish army could not kill. Guess what happened to him? He got a slingshot to his head and goodbye. He was gone. He didn't come out again. He died. David got rid of 
Goliath. Why? Because Hashem, he had Hashem on his team. He prayed to Hashem, he loved Hashem, he cared about Hashem, and he believed in Hashem. He believed Hashem was going to save him and protect him, and Hashem did. And Hashem made it that with only one slingshot, he got rid of Goliath, something that nobody else can do. And from that moment, people started to think, wow, who is this person? He must be really, really special. And from then, slowly, slowly, people started learning about David until Hashem made him king of the Jewish people. And he was one of the most magnificent kings that we had. And we learn the story of David and Goliath. Why? Again, because David was born on Shavuot. The holiday that we're coming up is David HaMelech's birthday. And that's why we remember nice stories about David HaMelech. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful Shavuot. Sending kisses. Chag Shavuot Sameach. We will see you so, so soon. Bye, Prike.